One of the most acknowledged villains in superhero history, the Joker is a lunatic that comic book fans love to hate. From his iconic red smile to his sarcastic remarks, the DC character was brought to life by a few notorious names such as Heath Ledger, Jack Nicholson, and Joaquin Phoenix. The latter even garnered his first Academy Award for Best Actor for his riveting portrayal of Arthur Fleck's journey from a failed clown and struggling comedian to a violent and deranged criminal. After the impressive result of $1 billion at the worldwide box office, Todd Phillips returns to the director's chair to helm a sequel to his 2019 film, Joker. Now that we know a few exciting details about the upcoming production, including the official release date and a new addition to the cast, here is a compilation of all the info that we know so far about this follow-up project. When is Joker fully a due coming out? After mixed reviews and debates on Joker's moral compass, it took a while to know for certain if there would even be a sequel. Gladly, Phillips shared an Instagram post of the screenplay cover back in June to confirm the news. Not only did the post feature the official title of the film, Joker, Fully Adieu, but it also revealed that the filmmaker would return to direct and continue to tell the story of the infamous villain alongside his co-writer, Scott Silver. On August 3, 2022, it was revealed that the sequel will come out on October 4, 2024. The release date will be five years after the first film hit theaters. Although that is still a long way from now, the following details about the production will surely make the wait pay off. Unfortunately, given that Joker Fully at is still in development and has yet to enter production, an official trailer of the film hasn't come out yet. However, Lady Gaga did share a teaser on her social media handles which features her and Phoenix's last names in bold and their silhouettes side by side just to confirm a casting choice that was already under speculation for quite some time. Keep an eye out on this page for future references. Reference. It will be updated once the official trailer and further details come out about the film. Who will play Harley Quinn and Joker, Foley and Dew. As seen in the teaser above, Gaga will be on board for the Joker sequel, and everything seems to point towards her playing Harley Quinn in the upcoming movie. The character was originally introduced in the comics as Dr. Harleen Quinzel, a psychiatrist that ends up head over heels for her mentally ill patient, Arthur Fleck. It isn't the first time that Gaga plays a devious character on the big screen. Last year, the singer, actress incorporated Patrizia Reggiani and Ridley Scott's take on the tragic death of Maurizio Gucci. Audiences that have seen House of Gucci know that Gaga is perfectly capable of portraying a femme fatale, so having her as Harley Quinn seems like a spot-on casting decision. A great array of talented performers will be joining Phoenix and Gaga in the musical sequel. Zazie Beetz, who memorably played Sophie, the beautiful neighbor who Arthur stalks in the 2019 film, is in talks to reprise her role. Brendan Gleeson, who is gathering plenty of Oscar buzz for his role in The Banshees of Inisherin, will also be joining the cast. Academy Award-nominated actress Katherine Keener has also joined the project in a key role. Other new cast members in the sequel include Harry Lottie and Jacob Laughlin. What will Joker and Folia T be about? Despite the plot details being completely under wraps, reports say that the sequel will mostly take place at the Arkham Asylum. Based on the title, which is a French phrase that means shared madness by two people in close association, the story will probably follow a similar train of thought as the comics. Given that Harley Quinn and Arthur Fleck fall in love at the asylum, the film could be centered on their romance and how it reflects on their cool partnership in the future. Who knows, maybe bad romance could even be the couple's song. Unlike its predecessor, Joker, Foley at Dew will be less gritty and will probably lack a gothic soundtrack. This is due to the fact that the sequel will be a musical, and as we know full well, this genre tends to make things more upbeat. Since Gaga has won an Academy Award for her work in Shallow, the highly successful original song in the 2018 version of A Star Is Born, the music aspect in the follow-up will be in good hands. A source close to the project has stated that the movie will have some complicated musical sequences and that the budget will be much larger than the first film's $55 million budget, at around $150 million. Given that a similarly dark approach to Joker's mortal enemy in The Batman, you might be wondering if Robert Pattinson's character could be linked to Phoenix's. After all, audiences see the Riddler and the Joker connecting with one another behind closed bars at the end of the 2022 film, this time played by Barry Keoghan. Despite the hint of Joker's future involvement in the Cape Crusader story, Matt Reeves explained the real reason why he decided to include that nod to the iconic villain in an interview with Variety. Phillips was also very straightforward when Joker came out that it wasn't directly linked to the DC Extended Universe. Instead of connecting the character to Justice League or Suicide Squad, the director wanted the film to be solely about the villain's backstory. He even pitched to Warner Bros. about starting a label called DC Black, in which various directors could pick a DC character and adapt their story to the screen without being...